It's a wet evening in Newcastle for round 13 of the A-League and it's two sides heading in very different directions meeting in the Hunter. And I would say for someone like o O'Donovan, he loves the ball that's played in behind the defence early, whether that be from a cross position, whether that be from a central position. Stamatolopoulos, I'm not so sure what what is his exact strength in terms of what he would say if I asked him that question what his number one thing is but that's exactly what you're going to do and simple as that pressure on Bogart and Yengi scores in back-to-back -back matches and that's why he was rewarded with a starting berth in this one well you talk Boswell was just talking about back to basics and that's basics it's a miss terrible defensive blunder but what about the confidence of Yengi Strode onto it, looking for a foul maybe, and then just dwelt on the ball, Bogard. And it allows Yangi and he pounces. And the finish was clinical. Maybe they should play it more to the you know to the side. So Tool was on. I mean he's gone for the more difficult pass, but lots of goals come from crosses. Goodwin into the middle. Problems again for Newcastle. They are being ripped apart at the moment, and it's their leading goal scorer and captain, Stefan Mork, who grabs his sixth of the season. Newcastle are falling apart at the seams. And there's a, an example, crosses cause goals, and there's one right there. And I'm not sure if he cleanly hit this cross, but what a run from Mork. Not picked up, he's coming late. Ball goes in here to the bouncer, turns, didn't track him. And he finishes it well, Stefan Mork. That's a feature of his game this season. And all of a sudden, 12 minutes in and Adelaide are two up. Dorigo, Halloran in Newcastle. Their backs to the wall again here. Adelaide doing a lot of attacking in the last few minutes after the Jets had a good spell. They can smell blood in the water here, the Reds. Again, Newcastle just can't clear it away. Good one. How good was that? Cavallo across goal, and there's the third. It's Ben Halloran, just his second of the season, but it may well have sunk the Jets. Oh, what a super finish. Great ball across, but still to control that and half volleyed into the back of the net. Brilliant from Halloran. Cavallo lays in Goodwin through the legs. Look at this for a cross. No chance for the keeper. Reds fans back in Adelaide. Wherever you're watching, I hope you're enjoying this. There could be a fourth before halftime. Goodwin, Yengi, is there a penalty? Yes, there is. It could be four before halftime. Oh, been run ragged. Been run ragged. The Jets. And the Reds running white hot in Newcastle. Yeah, no doubt there, Craig Goodwin. So how confident he was when he stepped up there and just rifles that one home. Goalkeeper dives and goes pretty much straight down the middle. And oh, it's an embarrassing goal scoreline for the Newcastle Jets. Shifted it back to Yugarkovic. Space to the right for Najarain. And he uses Matt Miller. Touch around to Yule. Running out of room, Valentino Yule now. Did well to turn away from Lopez. And now Miller! Off the underside of the crossbar for Newcastle. Look at the corner, he's desperately unlucky. Didn't he strike it well? When Newcastle here beat Melbourne City, I think that, that was the catalyst for them. Since then, I'm quite certain they've been, well, they've been exceptional with that. I think they've been unbeaten as well. Nazarene picks out Stamatolopoulos. And he scores against his former side. His first goal in Newcastle colours, and could it inspire a comeback? Abatu beats a couple. Abatu powered it again, and Italiano has been good in this second half, hasn't he? He certainly has, and he's protected that near post. Abatu went for the strike. It's had a good height for him.
So an Adelaide annihilation here in Newcastle. Their red hot form continues. Five straight wins for the first time since 2016. Full time in Newcastle, the Jets won, Adelaide United four.